Hi guys, for you it's been probably a couple weeks since you've seen a video, or a week or two, I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to upload this video first. This was going to be the second half of my, um, of a haul. Um, but I really want to show you guys this stuff. So I'm probably going to release this video first, and then the back half, which is still cool stuff, but not as cool as what's in this box, and this box over here on the floor that you can't see. Um... And then some other videos that I'm working on right now. Um, um, I've got a video that I just recorded. I've got this one that I'm recording right now. I've got a box from your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And a box of Star Wars that I picked up for 25 bucks. After you see those videos and the three or four that I have on Backlog... I'm probably not going to do any of these big haul videos because I'm going to really kind of cut down on what I buy and focus on saving my money and buying um, harder to find items for my Ninja Turtle collection. Um, on top of that, there is a lot of NECA Super 7 Turtles. Uh, the giant NECA Turtles are getting ready to come out this year. So I need to kind of save my money for those too. Um, so this haul knocks out about five probably almost everything in this video was something that was like on my list of stuff to find this year which eventually i'll pull that list out and go through it um but everything in here is uh for me a good find um there's no junk in this lot um of stuff i think yeah um some it's all new stuff a lot of it is hard to find stuff. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, yeah. We're just going to jump in. So. First up. I've got. Senior Rat Trapo. Um, let me get this down here a little bit. So we got the rat trap figure and he looks pretty awesome. I'm a Beast Wars fan, so uh, I really like this lot uh, of stuff I'm getting ready to show you. Um, you, you probably haven't seen the video because I don't think I've released it yet, but I'll just go ahead and show this one now. I did find... Uh, Optimus Primal. And I found Cheetor. Uh, since... Let's kind of bring him in here. Um, the boxes are kind of deceiving because they're actually only about this tall. Uh, but I love the box art on them. There's their smashed sheep. What else? So it looks like we're going to get a Tigertron. See an RC. Uh, Air Razor. Uh, we got a Bumblebee. Rhinox. Looks like we're getting a Dinobot. Scorponok. I didn't know about that one. That looks like Scorponok. Right? Black Arachnia. Um... That's Megatron, but I can't tell who those two are. Megatron, um, their ship. There's Rat Trap. So if we get a Dinobot and a Scorponok, I will be ecstatic. I really want a Scorponok. Yeah. Did he die in the original series? I think he died because I don't remember him towards the later of the second or third season. Um, and then we got... Uh, Black Arachnia. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, I will be having a better version of Black Arachnia coming in. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay, so if this is true, there is Waspinator. And Dinobot. And Scorponok. So, we've already got a Generations 
Waspinator. So, granted, we already had a Generations. Uh, who did we have? I don't think we ever got a Generations Cheetor. We got a Rat Trap, Waspinator, Rhinox. Was there a Cheetor? I know I got the Masterpiece Cheetor over there. Finger point that way. Um, anyway. So. Well, I was going to save this because this is one of my favorite finds of the year so far. And we have. Now, if I can get this camera back where I wanted it. Megatron. Um, I do kind of hope we get a pterosaur. He was always one of my favorites. Yeah, with this bigger box, you can see his artwork a lot better. So, this is one of those figures. I don't really care if I find a second one of the rest. I would really like to have a second Megatron, because I really want one in that box. I love that box art on it. Um, I actually like the box art on all these. It's really making it hard because I really, I had every intention of taking these out, but I do really like this box art. So that's going to be tough. But um, I am currently in the prog pro <laughs> process. I am progressing through the process of, uh, and people are probably going to be pissed, but I've had them in, on display for a while, and it's just kind of time to rotate. So l almost all of my G1 figures are getting pulled out um, and put away for a little while to have a better way to display them. I'm going to get a Detolf and just put all G1 in, D in a Detolf. Uh, but I'm currently making room for these doors. So... Alright, next up, found me and a friend, something really cool, he already knows he's getting this, so one of these is going to your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, this is the McFarlane Gold Label Mandarin Spawn, um, I might try to find my box Mandarin Spawns and do a kind of a comparison on these guys, um, If I had found a third one, I I know uh, Area 51 collects these two. I would have sent him one too. But unfortunately, they had two. And I already owed your friendly neighborhood YouTuber because he sent me... Uh, he's actually sent me a couple boxes and I have not sent him... I've only sent him a, one or two things. One thing? Did I ever send him a second box? I don't think I ever sent him a second box. I owe that guy. Did I? I know I got stuff sitting over here for him. But did I ever send him more than one box? I don't think I ever did. Did I? Alright, that's not going to drive me nuts. I don't think I ever... I could have swore. But he sent me a uh, Ninja Turtle comic. And Ninja Turtle glasses. And then a whole other box of stuff. And then another box that he just sent me this week. And I haven't sent him shit. So I kind of feel like a dick. But hopefully this and the other things that I'm sending him will make up for it. We will see. Alright. This is something really cool. Uh, Dino Riders from Entertainment Earth. I think they had these made. Um, I actually grabbed two boxes because these are pretty cheap. Um, so what they are is... And there's no good way to display it other than this. Uh, little tiny figures. And I was going to... Uh, I'm probably going to do an unboxing of this. And kind of set it up with my other Dino, dino Riders. Um, you remember that the T-Rex doesn't look anything like this, though. <laughs> and the Brontosaurus didn't look anything like that, as far as their armor. But, I'm happy with the attempt, and the fact that we got a cool vintage-style Dino Riders box. Keep forgetting the hiccups. The way this box is designed, it looks like it'd be an opening flap, like the original, and have a window box. Um, unfortunately, that is not the case. Uh, looks like you get 
One, two, three, four, five dinos. One, two, three, four, five seeks. I see seeks, but I only see one, two, three, four, five names. As far as dino names, but there's what you get. Alright. Now it's time to get into the stuff that a lot of people are looking for. And this has been very tough to find. I have no story like I did with um, finding the Viper Trooper. Um, that was a pain in the ass with Target. Um, this one, I got lucky, and me and uh, a couple of friends in the neighborhood decided that we were going to uh, try to beat this scalper that kind of steals everything from everybody. Um, so we all decided we were going to hit up different stores and coordinate. So um, now someone will say, hey, I'm near this target. I already checked it. Don't bother checking it. So the rest of us can check other places. Um so far, it's worked out better in my favor. Unfortunately, I've not found anything that anyone needs, but other people have found me Ninja Turtles and this Firefly. One of the guys contacted us and said, hey, I got all four of you guys Fireflies, so we're all good to go. He could have made four, or could have got his own and then made, what are these things going for, 100 bucks a piece now? So he could have made 300 bucks, but instead he was a cool dude and said, hey, here you guys go, just pay me what I paid for him. Hell yeah. Um, if you guys aren't doing that in your areas, find a couple friends, set up a group text, figure out what everyone's looking for, and when you, someone goes to a Walmart, help each other out. Try to beat the scalpers, and if you're friends with one of the scalpers, punch them in the dick. Or if any of you guys... Um, oh, shite. Uh, are into Ailstorm. Ailstorm, that's what I was thinking of. The pirate metal band. Uh, shove an anchor right up their ass. If you know that reference, you know the song, then good. Alright, so I don't know if this box will fit up here, so I'm going to show you this. And this may piss people off. But I have two pieces of Okay, so many of you guys know I tried to pre-order this through Target, and um, when I pre-ordered it, I put it on my Target card, well, not a Target card, but a card that I typically buy stuff from Target, like a daily kind of card, and I don't keep a ton of money. It's usually just like, it's it's an account that I put money in that's supposed to last me the week. Um So, I didn't know that Target, I thought once I paid for this thing, it was done. I didn't know that how Target does when you do a pre-order is that that charge after, you know, a month falls off. And then it randomly checks your card. And I don't keep track of that card. Like, I occasionally check online just to make sure I got enough money to pay for, like, food and gas for the week or whatever. Uh, and then I'll just transfer more money into the account when I need it. Anyway... So one day, apparently, I missed it by like a dollar of the $100 that I owed on both these. That I had already thought that I had paid. Like, I thought it already came off the card. That was my fuck up, but I didn't realize Target. Anyway, I was stupid. And from, so from now on, one, I won't use that card on Target. I'll use a different card. Or if I do use that card, I'll make sure I keep an eye on it and keep money enough money to pay for my pre-order. So I, I understand it was kind of my fault, but I fucked up, fucked up and missed out on these the first time. Um, pardon my language, but so, uh, they said January 1st, these things would be up and available. They sold out like instantly. I didn't even have a chance to order them. Um, and I've been basically watching all day. I've missed out on them three times. So, um, one day I'm at work and I'm checking, uh, online and they have these in stock at my store. 
Um, so I tried to order them to do a sh uh, pickup, and I kept getting these error messages. It sh kept showing these things in stock, but I kept getting this error message that said it couldn't be added to my cart. So I called up Target. I was like, hey, it shows you have these in stock. Guy, went, guy was super nice. He went and checked on them for me, and he took them out front, and he held them. He said, I'll hold them till the end of the day. Well, I don't trust Target, and I'm glad I don't because um, he told me they would hold them until I got off work, which that night was pretty late. So, um, at, on my lunch break, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to run over there and pick them up early. And I'm glad I did because there was a note on it that said only hold till four o'clock. Even though the guy told me he would hold them till later, uh, he didn't. He put a note on there. So, yeah, I was pretty pissed about that because he told me he'd hold them till I got off work. Anyway, so I ended up going there and I bought two. Um, one... It's possibly going to be for a friend if he doesn't find one, which I'm hoping he does because I kind of want to keep another one in the box. But if he doesn't, I'm going to let him have one. Um, and I'm going to keep the shipper box because I, I just think it's cool. Um, but anyway, so that is my haul. Um, I don't have any other stories. Uh, I will do an unboxing of this. Um, unfortunately, I, when I do the unboxing, I will not have uh, one to a vintage one to compare it to because I'm in the process of restoring my vintage Ecto one, Ecto ones. I got an Ecto one, an Ecto one A, and then a junk Ecto one that I'm gonna do some kind of custom with. With that being said, if you're doing a restoration and you want it, I want it to look good on the shelf, but I also don't want to take away a ton of the value. I removed the stickers on my Ecto one and the paint, not the paint, the glossy shine went away on most of the panels where I removed stickers. On my Ecto-1A, it's yellowing really bad around where the stickers were. So my question to you is, do I just put the stickers back on and call it good, new stickers so it looks clean, or do I sand down the Ecto ones, get rid of all the shine on them, make prep the surface with like a scour pad or, a, um, you know what I'm talking about? Not a sand, not sandpaper, but a Brillo pad or whatever you want to call them. Sanding sponge. Um, prime it, paint it gloss white, and then add a gloss coat to them. Is it worth doing that? Do you guys think? I don't know. I'm conflicted. I think what I'm going to do is just paint one, figure out which one's the best one, and then just leave that one the way it is, and only paint one of them. Anyway, that is my Ecto One stories. Um, what did you guys enjoy in this haul? Are you guys looking for any of this stuff? Um, are you pissed that I found it and you didn't? Because I feel that way when I watch a lot of YouTubers. Like, I won't even watch their episode when they're showing something that I'm jealous of. Because I'm petty like that. Um, I take that. I actually do watch everyone's, even when I am. I'm just sitting here thinking, like... It's usually when people don't pick up something that I see that I want. Like, if I'm watching a, a, a hunting video and these people look through boxes of Ninja Turtles. And they pick out really common ones. And they don't pick out the rare ones. And I'm just sitting there like, oh god, how'd you miss that? Idiot! Um... Those are the ones I kind of cringe about, but, um, do you guys need any help finding one? Like if anyone, if you guys uh, are looking for this stuff, leave it in the comments and maybe me or some of the other YouTubers that are watching this, we can all help each other find stuff. Uh, cause this, we need to be a community against the scalpers. And if you're a scalper, eat a bag of dicks. I don't mind doing, people doing them like every once in a while. Like, hey, if I ran into an extra Firefly, I might grab one and sell one. But when you're one of those dicks that tries to beat everyone in the door in the morning and buy, like, you know, an entire case, you're a fucking asshole. And I don't agree with you. That's why I won't buy from you. And I see people at, like, flea markets and stores. I actively will not buy from those stores. Um, I actually, um, if, if someone's doing that and they, like, have a case full of stuff that I've been looking for and they're, like, you know, trying to take like the, a neck of Ninja Turtle box set and sell it for a hundred bucks when it was 50 bucks in the store. But 
I can't buy it because you bought it and want to try and earn some money on it. I don't agree with that. Uh, if you want to buy every bit of clearance or if something's been out for a little while, fine. But if you're trying to beat people in the door just so no one else has a chance and they have to come to you to pay more money for something they could have found on the shelf, you're an ass. It, straight up, you're an ass. Now, like I said, if you occasionally, you know, you buy one, everyone's got to make some money for this expensive hobby. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't agree with it. But now if you're a collector and this is how you pay for your collection, it's the people who do it and they really don't care about their collecting. Like they'll, they'll sell their soul for the right money. You know, like nothing in their collection means anything to them. So you can walk in there and say, I'll give you a thousand bucks for this and they'll take it. You know, those kind of people, not a fan. Not a fan. Don't get me wrong. There's stuff in my collection I would sell if someone can't offer me the right price. But there are certain things that mean something to me. But there's... I met a lot of collectors where they're literally like, oh, I collect G.I. Joe now. And then they take all their Transformers and sell them all. And then a week later, they're like, I collect Hot Toys now. And they take all their G.I. Joes and they sell them. And then they, you know... I know some YouTubers that have done that. And they sell their entire collection and move on to something else. I don't know. So all this stuff kind of means something to me. That's why I buy it, and that's why I like to keep it. So, Anyway, that's the end of the TED Talk. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you buy some toys. Hope you share your videos. Uh, if you have a recent haul, um, if I'm not subscribed to you, you're not subscribed to me, so let's subscribe to each other. Uh, if you have a haul video, leave it in the comments. I want to see it. Other people want to see them. Uh, leave them in the videos. Uh, go check out... Um, I, I don't want to say a bunch of names, but Area 51... Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Um, God, why can I only think of those two guys? Cause probably because they're the ones I communicate with the most on this uh, app. Um, and there's some others, but... It, I don't know. It's hard to keep a conversation going with like just one sentence messages every once in a while with people. So, um, And I don't respond to the comments as fast as I should. Because I watch YouTube on my TV... And I don't really just take the time to go through and respond on my phone. I just kind of hit play on my TV and watch everyone's videos. So that's why I don't leave a comment. Like Those those guys pump out videos like crazy. And I just don't go through. I watch their, all the videos, but I just don't go through and uh, put on there, Hey, congrats on this. You know, occasionally I do, but not all the time like I should. Anyway, I don't know why I rambled on so long there. Uh, it's late, I'm sleepy, and it's time to go. Bye, everybody.